Let's uh, go back to the e-cigarettes and we're joined now by Sydney Uni Professor of Public Health Simon Chapman. Welcome to the drum, Simon. Thank you. What is an e-cigarette? What do they contain? Uh, they're vaporising devices. They have uh, capsules uh, which contain nicotine liquid, uh, various flavouring agents which uh, have been approved for ingestion but not for inhalation. And then they have uh, propylene glycol, uh, uh, a chemical which is manufactured by Dow Chemical. If you go onto their website, it says not recommended for inhalation. So we've got uh, the full box and dice there of something that we have no idea which down the track is going to be benign or 200 inhalations per day deep into the lungs is going to produce a whole lot of different problems that we can't even anticipate today. So e-cigarettes, are they meant to be a substitute for smoking or are they meant to help you quit smoking? Indeed, do they help quit well, the smoking? Two, the two arguments have been that they are a terrific way of getting off cigarettes, smoking cessation, and that they're a harm reduction product. Uh, I don't think anyone believes that they are as dangerous as cigarettes. Uh, that's a non-argument. That's a, not even worth going there. But we just don't know how dangerous they might turn out to be in the long term. As for smoking cessation, uh, the most important study which has been published came out about a month ago in England, all England study, which looked at what had happened to people who were trying to quit and were using either no e-cigarettes uh, less than daily or using them every day for 12 months and guess what there were no differences between the groups so all the hype about oh we've got this terrific new product that's come on so widespread consumer acceptance let's go you know what a breakthrough this is going to be um, is looking pretty hollow okay here at home this New South Wales Cancer Council audit or survey of more than 1500 retailers and they've found that Four out of five of these shops that sell these e-cigarettes have them placed somewhere near the cash register, somewhere near the lollies, the confectionery. What are you reading to all of this? Well, of course, that's just a pure accident. There's no design pure or intent in that, is it? In that right. at all. Right. <laughs> um, obviously, the business model for a product like e-cigarettes, um, like it's always been for cigarettes, has been that uh, if you don't get young people to start using them, um, then with older people quitting and dying all the time, you, you lose your market within a generation. So, you know, if you just do simple arithmetic, you can work out that with smoking rates amongst adults being the lowest that they've ever been and smoking rates amongst teenagers being the lowest they've ever been, there is widespread panic within the, within the global tobacco, control, uh, tobacco industry. And so something like this is seen as a, a lifesaver for them. And how extensive is the tobacco industry involvement in the e-cigarette industry? Well, all the major tobacco...